There's lots of people coming. I don't know if they're coming here. That's a walk in the wood. See, that's another thing that can be done another time. Walk in the wood. There's no signpost. A huge herd of cows right in the distance there that I seen earlier today fenced off from me but they're right up there they've been up there all day right up in that corner where there's no shade the coastal path is up there sat down to keep bloody cool I suspect I can hear people coming out they're not coming this way I'll have to let them pass Some people have done a circular and they're going to the car park back the other way. Some people will be coming this way, but whoever's behind is noisy. More likely to be early teenagers when they do that sort of noise quite often. 13 year olds. Right, so here we go, folks. This is the Somerset countryside. Um, I've got a feeling it's either the 8th or 9th today. I think it might be the 8th, I'm not sure. Uh, of July 2018. We've got another day off. No, this is the second day off from the World Cup. On Tuesday, Belgium play France in the semi-final and on the Wednesday England play Croatia I can't believe we're down to the last like four is it four four eight. yeah that is amazing isn't it that we've got we've got this far it's really good isn't it I got fitting this right isn't it Four teams left out of 32. Ahead of me is the Chancel or Chantry building where they say, sell cream teas and um, things like that. I popped in there early to ask for directions. Uh, no, to find out about parking. I could have actually stayed where I was, to be quite honest. I could have stayed where I was. He, he, I, hadn't, I hadn't blocked anything, but when he mentioned farm machinery, images of a huge plough came into my mind. So I thought, oh, better move Alberta. It could be that a very wide vehicle might struggle to get past. But although Alberta is no wider than a car, to be quite honest. That's why she wouldn't fit on the road. So there we go, coastal path over there, and it's more than likely, unless those people were going back that way to Donnington and back to a campsite up there, <sighs> um, otherwise they, they might be making their way along there, but I haven't seen them, I haven't seen them, and of course there's tides in at the moment, tides in. My van would be really hot, <sighs> although she was in the shade. It's a possibility Alberta's in the shade <sighs> when I get back. I'm videoing this. I'm walking down a field I've never been in in my whole life. In my whole 66 years, I've never been here. I'm exploring all the time. As I was told many years ago when I had all these t medical tests done because I wanted to run marathons and I'd, uh, I'd had um, a hole in the heart when I was a child and uh, had a murmur and all sorts of things. And my cardiologist, he was called Mr Bell of West Sussex Hospital. He said to me, Sheila, the best thing that you can do is carry on like you always did when you were growing up keep active don't go oh don't overdo it don't try and run the mile in a minute nothing like that but keep active and it's true you know after all these years um you can overdo it so you do have to keep a balance 
and I do have to be careful in the heat, I know that, otherwise I'll get arrhythmias. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? I'll take some more pictures in a minute. I'll just get up to this corner and then I'll take a few more pictures. You've got to do, I mean, you can do this in the winter. You just put the appropriate clothing on. I mean, that bunch of hikers I saw a minute ago, my God, didn't they have a lot of clothing on? I think they worried about the ticks more than anything. But at least if you've got bright clothes on, you can see them. I'm wondering whether they did go up the other way, you know. Because that would have been such a hot climb for them going up there. The manor house will be up there, East Quantock's Head. And we're heading for Kilv. And we're going to walk back down another little track I want to try out. Um, we're going to stop off of Alberta first. And then after that we're going to uh, go back down to the beach. That's plan A. I'll see what I feel like when I get there, but that's plan A. Over and out.